All right, so let's get into this first one. Does he truly have COVID? Let's find out. So I do want to address this too. Before we get into this one, this has been heavy in my spirit. So right after uh, Naya Rivera passed away, uh, I did a reading on her. This was when she was still missing. I did a reading on her um, pretty much in the reading before it was revealed that she died in the river um, or died in the lake. Rather, I got all the details in that reading. You can go check that out on my channel. Pretty much found out that she died. And then after that, I had been telling friends, I told my sister like, yo, we're going to have three major influences or celebrities. I'm feeling American influences that are going to pass away. Um, soon after we had Chadwick, you know, God rest his soul. Um, I know we had RBG, but Ruth, I don't know if that counts. Ruth was up in age. Ruth was 87 when she passed. However, though, I am feeling we have one to two more major celebrity deaths that is on its way before 2020 comes to a close. Major celebrity. When I say major, Kobe level, Beyonce level. I'm not saying Beyonce is going anywhere, but Kobe level, Beyonce level death. Like somebody who's current. Somebody who's big. That's what's in the air. That's what I'm feeling in the air. I'm not wishing that, but that's what I'm feeling, you all. So Chadwick was one. I felt three. Um, I'm just saying. But anyway, back into these questions. Is it true that Trump has COVID? Is it true that Trump has COVID-19? Give me three cards, universe. Is it true that Trump has covid Give us all insight and details. Is it true? How true is it? Give us details. All right, one, two. One more card, universe. Okay, we'll go with those. Y'all, look at that. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, 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 ooh. Beginning of the end. I am feeling like I did do a reading um, more so concerning um, Kanye and his run go at it for presidency. I am feeling like this is the end. You all, I don't know. I don't know. We got the tower that came out in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. We got the seven of cups that came out in the reverse. We got the seven of wands that came out in the upright. Y'all, this is a struggle. He's battling something. And then we have, yo, we got the, ten, oh, this is the legacy card. We got the 10 of pentacles that came out in the upright. It is not a hoax. It is legit. Yes, curl out loud. It is not a hoax. Look at that. We got the energies of the seven and we got the 10. It's not a hoax. It's not a hoax. Something about, something about Florida coming through. I don't know. And I mean, Florida is an iffy state as it is, especially during these COVIDs. But something about Florida is coming through. I'm here in Florida, but I don't know in, in pertaining to what. But with this seven of wands that we have in the upright, he's fighting off something. This seven of wands energy, you battling something. You trying to fight something off. He's literally trying to fight off death because just as we know how COVID affects those of special populations the most, meaning those with um, any underlying ailments or, you know, or, or the elderly population, Donald J. Trump just turned 75 this summer. He is of the elderly population. As much as he doesn't want to believe it, he is an elder man. He is more susceptible. And definitely his legacy right here is in jeopardy with this Ten of Pentacles. And then we got this tower that came out in the bottom of the deck in the reverse. This is the beginning of the end. The tower is when it all falls down, when we get it in the upright. This right here, this is the beginning of the end, you all. So let's get into our next question. And let me pop into the chat and see if somebody is saying anything otherwise. All right. Any other questions? Any other question? And he's obese. He is unhealthy. He's quite unhealthy. Though he likes to talk about people a lot. He's quite thick. YouTube channel. He's a prosecutor. He was being diagnosed. Da -da -da. All right, so I'm not seeing any other questions outside of the ones that I'm getting. Did he really get Rona? And if that's a tactic, is he going to use it for the election? Mari, I'm going to come back to that question. I like that one. Some of the pictures aren't adding up. He was refusing the hospital. He was rushed to the hospital by Chopper, but no one escorting him had on PPE. Yeah, we don't know. The man is just... 
It's all types of stuff that's going to come out about this situation. He's going to try to fudge it around. How sick will he get? Let's get into that question. Universe. Thank you for the channel messages. Trump's guides. Thank you for the channel messages. How sick will Trump get? So we know he has COVID. That's not a hoax. Whoa. That seven of wands is, is trying to pop out again. How sick will Trump get? Give me two more cards. How sick will he get, universe? Give me one more. Screen popping out. It's crazy. All right. So we have the six of cups that came out in the upright. So he has trusted people by his side at the current moment. Candles are going out and everything. Oh my gosh. He has trusted people by his side, by his side at the moment. Trusted meaning close, uh, close connections, family and friends. We got the queen of wands that came out in the uprights. Ooh. Y'all, this is going to sit him down. We got the Four of Swords that came out in the upright. This this is going to sit him down. This is going to keep him quiet. He's going to change his tune. The thing about this, this Queen of Wands, too, he's going to change his tune. So I am getting an energy that he might, it's, gonna, it's, a, it's a strong possibility that he's going to get stronger. He's going to overcome. But he's going to change his tune about COVID. Almost like he's going to be skipping over the topic. He's going to start skirting. You know how... At present or before we found out about his COVID diagnosis, you know, pretty much, you know, he's done everything just short of or no, not just short of mocking COVID itself. He's going to start getting really quiet. If any of you remember when um, him and Obama were sitting down right after his uh, presidency was announced and how somber he looked, you know, just how quiet he got. Yeah, it just got real. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, he's in for a fight. Look at that. That's the five of wands in the upright. He's in for a fight, you all. This is going to sit him down, and this is going to shut him up. That's a pause with that four of swords in the upright. Look at that. His presidency is over. Look at that. He's moving forward. His presidency is over, you all, with that six of swords. Yeah, this is going to shut him up for sure. This is going to shut him up. He's done. He has no more fight in him. He's going to have no more fight in him. That's what that is. So he is going to get... Okay, so here's the thing about being sick. He's going to get sicker, but not to a, a deathly level. Like, he's not going to die of COVID. However, though, he's going to be putting up a fight. It's going to shake him up enough to shut him up. And then right here. So we got the Six of Pentacles. So what I'm getting with the Six of Pentacles vibes, actually... You all, I think, now we know how there's no vaccine or they're working on a vaccine at present. Um, and there's versions in development, um, things that, you know, maybe you wouldn't trust as of yet. This right here, though, this Six of Pentacles, this energy of giving out, readministering, I feel like, I, yeah, heavily in my spirit, I feel like he's going to be the first to get that vaccine. He's going to test it. Or they're going to utilize it on him or something like that. So definitely in regards to his health, it's going to take the impact. What I'm feeling in my spirit is it's going to take the impact of a serious flu with him. But it's not going to take him out. It's not going to take Trump out. In fact, I'm not getting Trump leaving this earthly plane until his 80s. I'm actually I'm hearing 80 plus. So I'm not getting so Trump's not going anywhere anytime soon. Of course, that could change. Tarot's not finite. The energy changes. But as of right now, plus Trump is working with, you know, hostile, evil, bitter energy. And I promise you that energy in itself be getting people be keeping people alive until like 130. So but anyway, but no, Trump's not going out anytime soon, but it's going to shut him up. And this is his last year of presidency. He's done after this. He's a one term. Uh, let's see what are the implications on the election and on the economy? You see, <laughs> I promise you all the evilest people be living to like 200. They be walking around looking like the Grim Reaper. I mean, look at Queen Elizabeth. No, I'm playing. Queen Elizabeth is not evil. 
But um, look at her and Prince Andrew. They are like walking around looking like the living day. <laughs> Actually, no. Queen Elizabeth looks pretty good to be someone in her upper 90s. But Prince Andrew, man, he looked like he's seen more alive days. That man looks dead. <laughs> Gosh, he looks, he looks deceased. Forgive me, but he looks gone. Um, let's see. Let's get into this next question. What are the implications on the election? Okay. So, universe, give us information about the election. The implications on the election. How will this affect the upcoming election? How will this affect the upcoming election? Okay, I'm getting to shuffle this just a little bit more. All right, universe. What is Trump's COVID diagnosis? What are the implications on the election? Ooh, this one wants to come out. We got the page of swords. Yeah, this page of swords is about the news coverage. That's what I'm getting with this. This page of swords is about the news coverage. Um, the news is going to be talking in circles about this situation. What I'm getting with this page of swords energy, though. Who's asking, Cynthia, will he be president again? No, Cynthia, this is his last term. His first and his last. He's not. Um, but what I'm getting with this page of swords. So we're going to get a roundabout about... Information wise, you know how when COVID first hit the U.S. shores, how everything was just kind of recycled information. That's what it's going to be like in regards to uh, the coverage for uh, Trump and his diagnosis and his health condition. We're not going to get a straight answer. We're not going to see him for, you know what, you all, something feels like it feels like mm, I'm getting like the time frame of a, of a month. I feel like he's going to disappear for like a month. I feel like there's one or two things that's coming up in the energy. Uh, no, 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 no. He's not going to want people to, to, to pretend it's him. Because um, what's coming through is like maybe they'll try to, or maybe they spoke about this. Maybe they'll try to pretend it's him, as if he's still vibrant, you know, having someone tweet outside of his account or tweet in his account as him. But he's not going to do that. He's not going to allow that. He He's very particular about his image. However, though, news coverage is going to be very, very, very weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's coming through? What's coming through? You all, if you caught that presidential debate, ah, uh, man, man. Now, it's not a hoax, but this is going to be used as strategy because you can't debate a sick man. This is being used as strategy. What I'm hearing is they knew that Trump wasn't smart enough to go against Biden. Biden was going to make him look stupid. I mean, he does that on himself. Uh, he does that on his own. But you can't debate a sick man. You all. It's like two. And then this is going to be spent around two um, in regards to news coverage, in regards to the election. It's a sympathy plea. So COVID is not a false. This is not a false diagnosis. However, though, he's not going to be as detrimentally sick as how COVID has affected others. And it's going to be utilized because they can see that he's losing. Um, it's going to be utilized as a way to garner sympathy for him. So crazy. Ooh, Biden is going to come out. Thank you, universe. Biden's going to come out with some information utilizing COVID. Um, he's going to kind of, I'm getting some type of speech or something, some type of speech, some type of, I'm seeing a press conference of some sort. I'm seeing him outside. I'm seeing a press conference, but he's going to bring up Trump's COVID diagnosis in, in regards to how is Trump, you know, to kind of like say, how is Trump going to be able to lead the country going forth if he's not healthy enough to withstand COVID? So though they're going to be using COVID for Trump, uh, in regards to garner sympathy, Biden is going to come out making statements in various different press conferences utilizing COVID as to show how weak he is physically, mentally. Well, Trump's already shown his mental weakness, but Biden is going to come out in statements showing um, 
pretty much using that as how can he lead us into the next four years when he's not healthy. And then we're going to get more facts about COVID coming out, you know, pretty much really leaning heavy in that he's not well enough to lead this country. So let's get more information. Universe. Wow. Wow. Look at that. We got the seven of cups that came out again. This is about, yeah, this is about voting. This is about decisions being made. This is about finding someone new. This is the energy of finding someone new. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, voters are turning away. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, he's lost this presidency, you all. Ooh, he's going to lose it by a landslide, too. Maybe not a... No, no. That's what I'm picking up in energy. With this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. That's what I'm picking up with that. Give me more information. What are the implications? From Trump's diagnosis. Look at that. Look what's coming out. Same cards coming out, different positions. We got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, we're going to get very limited information. What I keep getting is like the reference to Kim Jong-un. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with what's going on with his health right now, with Kim Jong-un's health, how they're very vague right now in the coverage. Um, that's what we're going to get. We're going to get very vague news. It's going to be very vague, but we're going to be hearing a lot of stuff coming out of his administration to garner sympathy for him. They're going to try to get votes for sympathy. It's not going to work, though. Uh, let's see. Where else are we going? Um, let me see. Let's get more implications. Why wow, my screen is blocking out? That's crazy. The Hermit card. This is solitude. This is healing, too. Yeah. You all... In regards to this, to this election, he's going off. He's taking, he, he, this is all about rest too, especially with this hermit card going off. Isolation, isolation, quarantine. Boom. Then we got the ace of pentacles in the reverse right here. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much that debate that we saw, uh, what was it? Two nights ago now? Pretty much. Yeah. That was the first and the last debate of this election. Um, it's a lot of stuff that they're going to be able to get away with because of COVID-19, because of how things are kind of really different right now. Um, even with pushing the mail, uh, the mail voting and stuff like that, uh, they already felt, see the reason too, that they're using this as well. Uh, his administration already felt that he was losing. Like it, it was kind of obvious and kind of present. So the fact that he is dealing with COVID right now, it was not something that they just kind of cooked up, but the fact that he's dealing with it, they're going to use it to their advantage because pretty much you all like, that's the end of that. And with him being sick and with him recovering from being sick, uh, pretty much it's going to, that's the end of the debates. Like I, at least presidential candidates. I mean, and it's going to spin into, you can't have a sick man. He's recovering, blah, blah, blah. And then also pay attention to the date. It is what? October 2nd. Election day is November 3rd. There we go. Even in recovering from COVID in whatever time frame it is, he's going to be sick throughout the duration to uh, this until election day. So that's what we have with that. So let's see the implications on the economy. So let's see what's going to happen with the economy. Okay, now I want to get into my other deck. Get a sip of my tea too hot. Okay, let me get a sip of tea. All right. So now I'm going to get into my Hulu Tarot deck. Universe. Ooh. Ooh. All right, while I'm shuffling this, let me see what you all are talking about in the chat. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? What about Pence and Kamala on Tuesday? Yeah, the vice presidential debates are going to still go. We're just not going to have anything um, in regards to Donald J. Trump won't be involved in anything explicitly. He's going to be out. He's pretty much going to be out of commission um, until the election. 
However, though, where are we? However, though, all the other debates will commence. Um, but even so, right now, in regards to what everybody is is paying attention to, what everybody wants to know. Um, yeah, everything in regards to Trump. He's yeah, he's gonna be missing in action for the next four weeks. So he's gonna be sick for a month. No, see, this is the thing. He's not gonna be sick for a month, re kicker. What I'm feeling is he's not gonna be sick for a month. Uh he's going to actually, yeah. I'm getting like he's gonna be sick. Like to the point, because I'm actually getting like a two-week time span. Like how he's going to actually be fighting off um Corona, Corona, the Rona and all of that, and, and pretty much nurses himself back to health. A part of that is then going to be the quarantining for two weeks. So he's going to ride it out for a month. He's gonna ride out everything for a month. That's what's coming through with that. But no, he's not gonna be fully sick for an entire month. Uh, let's see. Who else, who else? Are there any questions in the chat that I'm not seeing? Because I want to get into the question about the economy. It said, well, they said Putin sent him a telegram and it was basically a warning that even if you die, you will still owe me. <laughs> uh, I bet Putin lives to like 130. Watch. Um... I hope all the nurses and the doctors from the shithole countries know that they should stand back and stand by so Miss Rona can do her job. Okay, will somebody try to harm? Okay, so somebody asked, will somebody try to harm him? Marley asked, will somebody try to harm him? All right, so I'm going to get into that. Uh... Though, honestly, I am not feeling the energy that somebody's going to try to harm. He's heavily protected. With that Six of Pentacles, or Six of Cups, rather, that was at the um, bottom of the deck for one of the questions, he's heavily protected. He's surrounded by close energies. And did I read this incorrectly? Um, his wife, Melania, was she also diagnosed with COVID-19? It's the feds get working. All right, let me get into this question about the economy, and then I'll get into the questions in the chat. All right. So what's going to happen to the economy? And you know what? Since we're basically at the end of the year, let's find out what his COVID-19 diagnosis means for the economy from now until 2021. Universe going to happen with the American economy. Two cards. What's going to happen with the American economy? I'm not feeling that one. Or am I? Am I feeling this? Am I feeling this? Yes, I am. Meh. It'll come back. What's going to happen with the American economy? screen never blanks out. Wow. It's going to happen with the American economy. Okay. Oh, yeah, you all. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Ooh, we got the magician and the reverse. We're still in a decline. We're still in a decline and things may get worse as it begins to get colder. Ooh. All right. So the card that I wasn't feeling sure of either, it was uh, the Empress that came out in the reverse. And so the Empress is all about rebirth. The Empress is all about growth, essentially. The Empress is all about, you know, 
positive change, creation of new business in a sense. Um, however, with that Empress coming out in a reverse, we're still on a decline, everybody, in regards to our economy. Look at that. Seven of baskets in reverse. So the seven of baskets is the seven of cups in reverse. So, whoa, more job loss, you all. That's what that seven of baskets is. It's going to be more job loss. Yeah. You all are, are the American economy. That's the question that I asked for. So for anybody that's watching this and you're outside of uh, the USA, then I don't know what's going on with your country. Um, but yeah, the American economy is uh, still going to be on a decline. Uh, there's going to be more job losses closer to December. Closer to December. What I'm getting in regards to is uh, something about the cold weather. The cold weather is going to take a huge hit. The cold weather is going to be a cause of a huge hit on the economy. And that could be wrapped up into regards to uh, you all, like how restaurants, a lot of uh, states where a lot of things are open and you have outside options. You know, at least I know in Chicago, it's December 15th. I am not going to a restaurant outside. Oh, hell no. I don't care how many lamps you got. And to keep COVID re regulation, you're not going to be able to fit everybody in a restaurant. So I'm working with this. It's going to be a decline. We got more job loss coming up. Um, in regards to which industry directly, uh, yeah, it's going to be in different industries. It's going to be across the board. We have the moon card that came out in the reverse. Yeah, that's the decline. That's a decline. That's that energy of, that's that water energy, that Pisces energy. Um, with it being in the reverse, it's sinking, 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 sinking. Ooh, no. Oh, God damn. We got the lover's card that came out in the reverse too, you all. Yeah, so, whoo. So if anybody was, cold weather, the cold weather is going to take a huge hit. The cold weather is going to be a cause of a huge hit on the economy. And that could be wrapped up into regards to uh, you all, like how restaurants, a lot of uh, states where a lot of things are open and you have outside options. You know, at least I know in Chicago, it's December 15th. I am not going to a restaurant outside. Oh, hell no. I don't care how many lamps you got. And to keep COVID re regulation, you're not going to be able to fit everybody in a restaurant. So I'm working with this. It's going to be a decline. We got more job loss coming up. Um, in regards to which industry directly, uh, yeah, it's going to be in different industries. It's going to be across the board. We have the moon card that came out in the reverse. Yeah, that's the decline. That's a decline. That's that energy of, that's that water energy, that Pisces energy. Um, with it being in the reverse, it's sinking, 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 sinking. Ooh, no. Oh, God damn. We got the lover's card that came out in the reverse too, you all. Yeah, so, whoo. So if anybody was, mm, I want to ask a question on travel too, how travel's going to be outside of the um, country.